research minutes from uh, 20, 2000 when we had this um, election. And by the, from the minutes, it says they had a discussion like with the Bond Council in May. May 10th, I think they had a discussion with the Bond Council. And then the commission approved um, the resolution in August. So there were, I didn't see any discussion in between that. I'm not saying that discussion is not good. But back in 2000, the Bond Council came, presented to the commission, and in August they, they approved the resolution. Uh, there was no there was no public hearings then. I think it's a good idea to have public hearings. Then I I talked to Joy um, I don't know, about two weeks ago. Then I got to see Bond Council, and and I talked to the Lake King County clerk. I just thought we were stuck with the April election, but we can have this election in August. So that would give you all that time till August because that's 50 days before the general, but you still have the cost of this special election. The rates would stay up, right, Mr. Hilligan? Uh, if we have it in August? Yes, everything would stay equal in August. So that gives you that much more time now if we have it in August and not have the rates drop. So we have that option too. Yeah, I think that's what we want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, you know, and we can do the time. Yes. Time. I think we, I got stuck with the April thinking that you did not want the, the tax to drop, and I assumed that it was going to drop if we go with any further. But more research and with Joyce uh, email, it seems like we can have it in August. I'll start. Mr. Chair, will you allow questions from the floor? Would you, would you take a question from the floor? Sure. Um, is there anything to, Go to the mic. prevent? Uh, so I can hear oh, gosh. I'm sorry. Thank you. Is there anything that would prevent you from combining it with the primary? Or no, you can't. Have you can't have it in the primary because the primary is designated only for the public and the public. So I was. Chair, I have a question for that. <clears throat> what would be the cost of the August election? It would be the same twenty-eight thousand. And if that was put on the general election, it would be part. I have the general election anyway, so it would just be the question on the ballot. So it would be any extra cost than what I'm used, what you're used to paying for general elections. And it could be on the general. Yes, it could. Yes, it could be on the general, but it would drop the tax. Like it would not mean our, our time to bring it for the bond. So we right. So you wait pass. longer. So you would have if, if we want to have an election, it would have to be in the August election. If you're going to keep the tax rate up yeah. or equal or continuous. <laughs> what, what's the question? It's not in terms of to Go ahead, I'll call about it. Make your comments. Okay. Uh, you know, I support the idea. You can have it in, in August uh, to have the, the bond issue. The advantage of that is you could have another public hearing. But what I'd like, because you're getting a better idea of the proposed geo bond projects, is a little more information. For example, on uh, the county fairgrounds improvement, a list, of, you know, a little bit of a list of where that figure comes from. Is that for one building? Is that for the building in the parking lot, et cetera? And the same with these other things, the asphalt zipper. Um, nobody but a road person and maybe some people, hopefully in the county commission, and the workers know what an asphalt zipper is. So a little more information, how many asphalt zippers that is, what are the cost, are you going to lease them, are you going to buy them? A little more information on there so that when people make public comments, they can maybe help you out and make suggestions that might make your life a little easier when you get around to that bond. So it would give time for another public hearing um, to get a little more information, a little more homework, 
you know, maybe you can get a 99-year lease, or maybe you do want to move the, the uh, fairgrounds improvements, et cetera, things like that. So I would, I would go along with, now that you know you can have it in August, I would uh, support that, and I would also support another public hearing with a little more detail on the uh, things that you can actually um, get with the bond issue. And the last thing is you don't necessarily have to equal the bond issue you have now, the bond you have now. If it's a little bit less, so be it. So, you, you know, your job isn't to try to stick out, see how many toys you can stick in the toy box. The job is to do the right thing and get projects that really help the citizens of the county. Thank you. Can I ask no. a question? Yeah. Sorry. Please, please do it. ballot and saving the taxpayers $28,000 without that special election. I mean, from what I'm hearing, you still end up at the same position at the end of the trail. It just extends the time to borrow the money and move forward on the projects. So I, I don't understand, I guess I don't understand why you're rushing to do this. If you could make me understand that, I would be more comfortable in fully supporting moving forward in August. But I just, I, I'm sorry, I just don't understand. Why is the rush? What's the push? What's the difference between now and pushing a $28,000 special election in August versus waiting till the general and then catching that cycle again and then moving forward with that? I mean, you're still good. If you're going to borrow $3.8 million, that's a big number. Somebody like me, that's a huge number. That's my, that's my earnings uh, income probably for my whole life. Uh, you know, like a quarter of it's not even going to touch that. So, I mean, that's a lot of money to me. I just need to understand what's the hurry and why can't we just go on ahead and wait, save the 28 thou, we still will borrow the 3 8 as long as, you know, everybody's comfortable and it's a good project. So help me understand why we should support August versus November. Thanks. Mm -hmm. sure. If I can comment, Mr. Chair, and Ms. Hewitt, this is not, I mean, we, this hasn't been that hasty decision. We've been discussing this for a couple of years, and we've been discussing this knowing that the bonds were going to mature in 2016, and we wanted to coincide to extend them. And I think that the reasoning behind that was so that the campaign would be to keep taxes steady, so that taxes wouldn't go up. And that's but that's not going to be true. So if we wait until November, the taxes are going to go down, and then we're voting to increase taxes again. So trust us. Trust us. Uh, Mr. Chair, I'd like to comment on that also. <clears throat> and I can see that uh, at the, the difference between lowering, lowering the taxes and going back up. However, if we did wait until the general election, that would give more time for more people to understand what we're going to do. And, and I think that if it's a good idea to uh, work on a fairground for the multi-purpose building and do some road improvement work, if that's all eligible, then if it's a good idea now, it'll still be a good idea then. And I believe that that uh, both of those things would stand very well on their own merit. Well, and Mr. Chair, if I can make one more comment. There's been a lot of people that have said that this list of projects that, that the commission is considering. Um, I formulated that list based on conversations that I've had with my department heads. So the commission asked me to come up with a list of what I would propose, and that's it. So the commission didn't, I mean, they're not in agreement or disagreement with any of this stuff. It's just stuff that I put together for them. So that's, it's not a formal list of any and it would stimulate that we would that we would have a revised list after some of the things that we have heard are not eligible. So we then we could have a probably a, a list 
probably half as long as this one that we could uh, could work on. I noticed, and I didn't see that list of those that are ineligible. But the security for the treasurer's office is that one eligible? That would be eligible. And I think that what we had done again, Eric and Daniel, you guys can interject if I'm wrong. But when you're formulating a bond question, um, it would be something similar to um, security measures for county build for county buildings. And so that could could accomplish the treasurer's office. Since then, Langatomio has expressed safety concerns. Um, there's already been discussions on moving the sheriff's department, which is why this is on the list between me and the sheriff. Um, things like that could all be encompassed under one question. If there was another question developed about fairgrounds improvements, then that would be whatever we decided. And in our conversation with bond counsel and financial advisor, we don't have to have specific estimates right now. We have to have specific estimates of basically at the time of issuance so that we know we have time because I, we can't, when we're looking at something like fairgrounds improvements or moving the road department, if we were doing road department improvements, then you could um, encompass moving the road yard, building them a new road yard, which it was our intent to move them out to the new 20 acres out on Allen Airs and get them out of Estancia. We have estimates, but we don't have engineered estimates because we haven't paid for engineered estimates because we don't have the money or don't even know if we're going to go for the money. Um, we've got real basic green numbers that we pull from contractors, but we can't even get firm numbers from them because any contractor who helps us with an estimate or specifications is then ineligible to bid. So you have to be real careful how you formulate that stuff. So basically these numbers have kind of come out of just prior knowledge and what we've kind of come up through our imagination. So they're not real hard numbers. Um, the county software is a hard number. That's, that's what county software costs um, or they're about. Um, the asphalt zipper, that, we know what that costs. That's a hard number. Um, but a lot of those things are, the construction kind of things are, are just real good estimates. And when we have a ballot on this issue, will it show each individual? Yes. It will show, uh, excuse me, but it will show each individual has to be voted on. And they can Separate. reject. They Separate. can reject the fairground, or they can reject the zipper, or they can reject. The voters have that opportunity to reject any project that they choose. So to rather than voting on the total dollars, we just all we're doing is putting out <coughs> the, the stuff that we that we think is essential for our county to, to prosper or go forward. And but the voters have the ultimate decision of voting any one of those individual things. Yeah. So and if you looked at this list and the discussions that we had, we would craft three or four bond questions out of that. So if one bond question was fairgrounds improvements and there was a dollar amount associated with that, like 500000 or whatever, then the voters could vote yes or no on that question, whether or not we're going to finance fairgrounds improvements. Um, if it was improvements for emergency services, that may encompass fire trucks, it may encompass fire departments, it may encompass improvements to the sheriff's department but that would be a specific amount allocated to that but it's going to be a very uh, um, a question is not going to be by vehicles for the sheriff's department it's going to be emergency services improvements something similar to that if it was um, a question related to road infrastructure then i think we could craft that so that it included moving the road department, which the goal has always been, if we can move the road department out of Estancia, it frees up the road department, the existing yard and the shop for the sheriff to store all of, all of this stuff at that yard. Um, so we can craft those questions however we need to, and that's why we have bond council to do that for us, but there's an amount allocated to each question, and so the voters are gonna decide Yes or no on the fairgrounds. Yes or no on road improvements. Yes or no on emergency services. And, and I believe I have, I have one, one more thing that I think we need to bring up now is uh, the commission itself cannot push any certain project to be accomplished. We as commissioners cannot go out there and I want this project, I want that project, because it is only solely up to the people that are going to vote on it. As commissioners, we cannot go out there and push a project. And I, am I correct, or? We can't even ask them. We can't do a cap. If you guys will think about when we did the, the capital outlay tax, we couldn't put ads in the paper saying vote yes for this tax. We can say go vote. 
but we're not trying to persuade. And actually, I think I got that from Leota. She's 